In this example, I will be showing you how to complete the activity module in Practica Musica from a basic or the Exploring Theory course, Reading Accidentals with the Bass Clef. So once you've opened your program, you will need to select the Exploring Theory course, then select Chapter 1, Notation of Pitch, then select Reading Accidentals, and click the tab Open. Then because we've already done the Reading Accidentals activity module for treble clef, at the top of the menu bar, I'm going to select Reading Accidentals and then select the Base F clef. So, just like in our last activity module, I will be playing the notes that I see on the staff on the piano keyboard below. So, the first thing I need to do is find the first note on my staff and then where that note is on the piano keyboard. So in this case, I start by looking at my lines. This is the second line note on the bass clef staff. And I know that good boys do fine always. And so this second note is the note B. To find it on my piano keyboard, I need to remember that right above my bass clef staff, that next line would be middle C. So if I go backwards from middle C, I go C to the space note B, A, G, F, E, D, C, and B. So I need to start with middle C down below and count backwards to get, or not really count, I guess, go backwards down the musical alphabet. C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C, and finally I reach my first note or starting note B. Then I jump down to the lowest line note on my bass clef staff, G. Back up to the third line note, D. Back to my starting note, B. Down to the first space note, A, for all cars eat gas. Up to the second line note, B. Up to the middle line note, D. And back to my second space note C. In this example they didn't give us any accidentals so we kind of lucked out. So let's click the tab try another. Oh and good. So since we didn't have any in the first example now we have one on every note in the second example. So let's do a quick review. The sharp sign tells us that we need to find the original root note and then we need to play the half step above that note or half step higher. So in this case, my first original note is the note C. It's all cars eat gas. So I will find C. I know middle C starts here, so this is the first C that I encounter below it. So I find middle C on my piano keyboard and I scroll all the way down to the left to the next C because I'm supposed to play the half step higher, I know that I start with my root note and I will play the neighbor note above the original note C. Then my second note is D sharp. So I find the original note D. I will play the half step or the next neighbor note above to get D sharp. Back to my starting note of C sharp. So find your original note C go up half a step or to the next neighbor above to C sharp. Now I need to go all the way up to my fourth line note which is F and I need to play F sharp so I play a half step higher. Then I'm going to jump all the way down to the note below the bass clef staff. So remember that the line note on the bottom of the bass clef staff is G for good if I go all the way back down to G and then I know that the note that would be next to G below is F, then I know that I need to play the F sharp version of this note. So once I've gotten to low, low F, then I play the neighbor note above or the half step higher. Then I play the next note which is G sharp, so I go to the original note G and I play a half step above back down to the note F sharp. So again, always start with your original note and then figure out whether you play half step higher or half step lower. In this case, I know it is half step higher. So I play the neighbor note above F. 
and then I go back to G and because it's G sharp I play the next neighbor note above or the half step above for G sharp. Then I'll click try another. As you do this activity module or any other activity module where you are reading notes, please feel free to either have your textbook window in a corner so you can look at the examples there or feel free to print out an example of a piano keyboard with the note names written on it and use that as a help. That's what every good musician does when they are starting to learn to read notes on the bass and treble clef. So don't feel as if you are going to be cheating by doing that. Just make sure that you have a correct example to look at. If you look on the internet, there's a good chance you might find some incorrect ones. So either print out the one that I've included in the modules or pull up your textbook and keep the window down in this uh, lower corner to use as a resource. In this example I now have flats. This is the last one I will do for this module. I will find my starting note and so because it's a second space note I remember all cars so this note is C and so I know middle C to be up here so I recognize that I need to find middle C on my piano keyboard and go down to the next C below which is an octave below and then I will need to find the next note below the C which is on the line B and in this case it's B flat so we know the flat sign tells us to lower the note by half a step so to play that on my piano keyboard I'm going to play the neighbor note below B in this case the neighbor note below B is the black key and that creates B flat the next note in my example is the space note A, so I come down to A, and it's A flat, which lets me know I need to play the neighbor note below A, which makes it this black key. I go back to the note B, and I find a half step below that, which is this black key, to make B flat. Then back to my starting note, which is the unaltered note C. The note above this is this uh, line note D and in order to play D flat I will play the neighbor note below D. Then for the next note I will start with the original note name E and then I will play a half step below that or the neighbor note below that to play E flat. And then my final note is also the same as my starting note, which I know to be C. So I've scored a total of 240 points. I need 600 to complete this module, so I have another 360 points to go. As you do this module, remember to take your time. You are not in a rush, and make sure again that you use the resources you have available.